All right, so now that we've put in a whole bunch of hard work into our net school course, we're going to go ahead and back it up. Uh, normally, there's a little tab over here, but I've moved it uh, to the bottom right just so we can read all of the options. Under settings, go down to backup. Scroll down, next. All of these are checked for a reason. Now, something you can mess with and something you may want to think about is, okay, I had to pause the video because my course apparently is so big that my computer needed time to think. Uh, one of the things that you can mess with is whether you want to save user data or not. I would suggest to you that if you're saving this course, if you're backing it up in the middle of the six weeks or a semester, definitely save the user data. Uh, otherwise, click none if you're saving your course at the end of the semester or the end of the school year. So everything is unchecked as far as user data is concerned. You will click next. I know there's no reason to back this up, but I am just because I'm always paranoid that if I uncheck something, I'll lose it. Okay, so everything's got check marks by it that should. Everything's got little red X's that should. So we'll scroll to the bottom and we will go ahead and perform backup. This may take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. Bam! The magic happened. The backup file was successfully created. Click continue. If you want to uh, import a backed up file, you put it right cha. Oh, one of the things that I forgot to mention was uh, renaming the file name. Now previously, when I backed it up, I renamed it backup and then today's date dot mbz. You need to add this extension to your file name. Um, it just gets, it's just easier to remember, easier to organize, easier to search for. Uh, backup Moodle course, blah, 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 all this junk. Uh, sometimes just, uh, it gets me dizzy when I try to read it or look for it. Another thing I suggest is downloading the file uh, to your computer and probably to a, a flash drive as well, just in case something happens to the network or to the school district or maybe to the entire planet. Um, everything can go to a uh, heck in a hand basket, but at least you'll have your middle course backed up. So you would click download, save file, OK, and it's that simple to uh, back it up into a... Um, another area. Uh, the next step is going to be to restore your course if you ever need to do that. So we'll move on to the next video. Thanks for watching.